to us about Kyrie being a uh, conference defensive player of the year? It's very well deserved. Uh, you know, the progress he's made from a year ago, uh, obviously his offensive numbers speak for, for themselves, how much he's improved. But, you know, defensively, we weren't even playing him at the end of the last season in, in the Big East tournament. He was taking way too many chances defense, defensively, gambling a lot. He wasn't guarding the dribble. Uh, and, you know, he's just uh, transformed himself into, you know, I think the best defender in our league. And, uh, you know, the steals and the blocks and all that's one thing, but being in the right place and being disruptive, uh, I think, is what he does the best. And, uh, you know, we wouldn't be where, we're, where we are today without him. Does any performance of his stick out? I mean, I know he's had a lot of really good ones defensively, but, like, any, any one or two that really come to your mind when well, you view his year a little bit? I don't know if there's been one or two in particular. It's just when you look at the st statistics game after game, uh, of some of the best players in our league that he's guarded and then look at their stat line after 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 the game I mean he's Generally speaking the, the the field goal percentage is way below what it usually is their points per game is below what it usually is and you know, as good as Josh Hart is Josh Hart got you know six or seven eight points late in the game in the last two minutes when the game was over but uh, Kyrie kept him in check uh, up until that point. So, uh, you know, he's just been fabulous. He goes about his work in a very unassuming way. He's a, he's a no ego guy, and uh, you like to see good things like that to happen to happen to good people. You had two guys make all conference. First, talk about you know each guy first and second team. Well, what, what I think is really cool is it's their first year playing in our program. You know, they've both been in our program a year, and and. I think the year off for them is a big reason why they made the all-conference teams. Uh, Marcus really added to his game and his ability to, to take the ball to the basket. If you look at the number of two-point field goals he had this year compared to his two years at, at Kansas State, it's, it's much different. And while he hasn't shot the three as well as he'd like to, um, you know, he's, he's added things to his game and become more complete. And, and you know, Justin, is, is we've all told the story before, he's, he's come from a relatively unknown to someone that's uh, on everybody's radar. And a lot of that had to do with the work he put in last year. So without what they did last year, they wouldn't be receiving these honors uh, this week. Has he kind of had a wall lately? Uh, I, I don't know if it's a wall. I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's a lot of scouting and they're taking away some of his strengths. He's going to, he has to go to maybe a secondary move and, and uh, you know, they're coming at him a little bit more with double teams because they, they can a little bit more. Uh, but he, he's still impacting the game in a positive way. He's just, he's making a few more mistakes that most typical freshmen make. He just hasn't, he didn't make a lot of them in the early going. Just his minutes against Marquette was that, I didn't get to ask you, that. was that more matchup related just because of the one on one post? Interior post defense that you guys had to play. Well, he, he asked to come out early. His stomach was bothering him, so that's why he came out so quickly. He uh, he asked me to come out, and then uh, when Martin went in the game, he did a really good job. And you know, we we've got to put the guys out there that are being the most effective at that point in time. And and Martin was was unbelievably effective on both ends of the floor. And uh, you know, Justin's getting fatigued a little bit faster than he did early in the year. And if we can if we can keep his his minutes and you know two and a half to three and a half minute spurts, I think he's going to be more effective. How do you like the matchup against Providence? The guys have mentioned how much they want to kind of settle the score with them after what happened a couple weeks back. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think you'd ever want to say you're excited about a team that's won six in a row. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it was a competitive game. We controlled the game, most of the game, um, and let it get away at the end. So I think in that regard, we're all hungry to get back on the floor against them. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's uh, they're playing great basketball. Their, their offensive numbers from the first six or seven games of the season compared to the last 10 or 12 are totally different uh, defensively. They've always been solid, but they're sharing the basketball and, and you know, they, they made 12 threes against us here and we're gonna have to do a better job of getting to their to their shooters this time around. Well, well, Greg, how important is it to pick up some momentum here heading into next week? Uh, you know, it'd be, it's really important. You know, we, we came off a nice one against St. John's and Marquette is not a great matchup for us. And I'm not sure they're a great matchup for anybody the way they're shooting the basketball right now. Um, and we did some good things in that game, just not enough good things. So it, it certainly would uh, make us feel better going into Sunday if we could go, uh, you know, win a few and maybe get to Saturday uh, uh, in New York City and see what happens. You know, they're, they're, uh, the good news is, it was, you know, we played pretty well against the teams on our side of the bracket, and uh, you know, hopefully that continues. One of the things that you've talked about and your players have a couple in the last couple of weeks is just we've heard about effort and energy and just fighting for loose balls and getting there. Can you find that? I mean, is it is it something you've done it earlier, didn't it earlier in the year, but can you find it now at the point of the season where 
everyone's kind of tired. Yeah, you know, every, yeah, everybody's tired, everybody's banged up, but so is the other team. Um, you know, and we had some great individual hustle plays, extra effort plays at Marquette on Saturday that, that is, you know, we're going to watch on film here the next couple of days. And uh, we, we need everybody to sell out like that. You know, when you're, when you're playing in games against uh, good teams, you never know which possession is going to be the difference in the game. So you have to play every possession like it, it is a difference maker. And we had some guys do that better than others. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, that's something we'll try to clean up here the next few days. Uh, it's, it's decent. Uh, it's, a, it's a tie, so I wouldn't say I did all that good. So I, I wasn't the only one who won it, uh, but it's all right. It's a good feeling. Yeah, what does that mean to you? Talk about your defensive play. Um, how much pride do you take in it? I take a lot of pride in it. I know that's like my assignment for my you know, teammates. They expect me to do all of that stuff. So I kind of you know, get in the gym as much as possible, watch film, and try to anticipate everybody else. And uh, it's just an honor. you know. I didn't expect to win it. I didn't even think I'd be in the nomination, but a win is a win. So because you tied, does that, uh, you, I, I sense a little bit of, uh, yeah, you know, I wanted to win it by myself type of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, I wanted to win it by myself. But I mean, those guys, they're good defenders as well, especially hard in the past. And uh, you got Bridges, who's like super athletic and long. Uh, with those guys, you know, it's a nice little runner up thing. I did want to win it by myself, but it's whatever. After yesterday, the, the, the all conference teams came out and you weren't on there. Mm -hmm. did, do you think, did you, not that you care about awards, but mm -hmm. was it kind of like, hey, what's going on? Uh, I really didn't pay attention to it. I saw it and then I was just congratulating Marcus and uh, sure. Justin. Other than that, I really didn't think, think too much about it by myself being on there. Gary, talk about Providence. You just played them a mm -hmm. few weeks ago. Uh, close to us at home. Uh, what do you remember about that matchup and what can you take uh, That's kind of part of we, what we need to work on is just finishing games. I mean, we had the lead like the most of the game and then we kind of just, you know, start letting up and they hit a big shot to win the game. Uh, we owe them one. They came in here and stole one from us. So, I mean, we're really kind of uh, all focused on getting them back and uh, trying to get that win. How much emphasis has it been lately? It seems like after a couple of the games, the last couple of weeks, you've been talking about maybe not hustling as, mm -hmm. as much as you mm -hmm. have been in the past or mm -hmm. the effort hasn't been there. How much big of an emphasis is that um, going to be this week, think? Uh, I think it's going to be uh, big, especially we play on Thursday, so we have a lot of practices. Uh, to you know, get better and uh, make everybody work hard. Even though you sh you know want to come in and work hard, but I think that's going to be a huge part today uh, in practice as you watch. And uh, hopefully everybody's ready to you know come out and compete in practice as well as games. How important is it to get some momentum before the NCAA tournament? Just play well. Uh, I think that's super important. Get everybody confidence up. Everybody back in the gym. I know everybody's kind of tired, beat up, and sore. Well, other than that, I mean, this is what you signed up for. I mean. Get the feel for it, and uh, let's make you know runs. I think Coach Mack made a comment the other day, or maybe it was today, about how a year ago at this time you weren't really even in the mix. Can you take us uh, back to where uh, you were a year ago? Like uh, I was just, I was a freshman. I mean, right. I played like one, looked like one, you know, all that. I was a freshman, so he's kind of right about that. I'm, I was just a freshman, man, right. trying to you know fit in and build in any way that I could, but. Uh, now, I mean, I guess I got all my confidence up, not really caring about a whole lot. I mean, I care, but not, you know, stop caring about, you know, mistakes that I'm going to, that's going to happen. Yeah, did, did you envision, I mean, you are working hard this summer, I know, mm -hmm. but did you envision this? No, no, nah, <laughs> I just really wanted to, uh, you know, get out here and win with the team and uh, be able to play with Marcus and Justin. But, I mean, you know, things happen and uh, I guess I'm stepping up. Uh, as everybody can see, I guess I'm not really paying attention to it. I want to ask you real quick. Yeah, Patrick Ewing, Dikembe Mutombo, uh -huh. Alonzo Mourning, all these great Big East players have named that award. Now you're part of that list. That's got to be pretty humbling. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I guess I got to do my research on that. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I guess that's, you know, real good for me. I'm, I'm still kind of shocked that I was in a little mix of it, so. Oh, yeah, it definitely means a lot, you know, especially with the people that I'm in there with, you know. Josh Hart, one of the best players in the country. You know, it's a, it's a great accomplishment for me with a great conference I'm playing in, too. What do you think made you get on that team? What 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 do you think the voters saw in you? Uh, probably mostly my offense and, you know, how many points I was scoring, you know, helping my team out defensively. Probably seeing when Maurice went down, how I stepped up and helped my teammates out a little more. Does it give you a little affirmation about what 
your path has been that you, in fact, made the right decision. Do you know where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm, you know, yeah. It's kind of like, man, you've been through a lot to get to this point. Right, yeah. It's just kind of like I can uh, breathe a little bit, you know. Accomplishments such, uh, such as that just makes me happy because I put in all the work last year. You know, it was a little rocky at first, you know, transferring out and the stuff I went through. So, you know, going through all that and getting, seeing where I'm at today, it's just a, it's just a happy feeling to have. Approaching the tournament, um, the Big East tournament, Providence, you've got a little score to settle with them. I'm guessing that's a, you know, that's fresh on your minds the way they stole one here, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, we feel they stole one. We, we had a chance to really put them away and we let them come back in the game, you know. You know, they're a great team, though, you know, a tournament team in my mind. So I think it'll be a great game. I think we can definitely get after them and fix the mistakes that we made when they came here and beat us. Talk about how important it is just to get some momentum this week uh, for Selection Sunday. Uh, how important is it to play well in this tournament? Oh, yeah, it's very important. You know, you, we would like to finish this tournament with a championship and keep it rolling. You know, you don't want to go into the tournament after a tough loss. So we definitely want to keep it rolling, you know, fix our mistakes that we're making so we become the great team that we can be. Has this team reached an identity uh, since Maurice has left? Is this a, uh, an offensive team? Does it need to stress more of that or what? Uh, yeah, I think it's more of the defensive end for us. You know, I think our offense is fine. We didn't figure out ways to score throughout our motion. But it's going to be how you guys get down and dirty like we did at the beginning of the season, not letting people score, taking pride in defense is what's going to help us, you know, become a great tournament team. Do you want to play in the Garden? Uh, no, it's my first time. It's always dreamed about playing in the Garden, so I'm happy I get to play there. Is it? I mean, that has been a dream. To play. Yeah. You know, Mass Square Garden, you know, you, the greats played in there. Michael Jordan, my favorite player, Kobe Bryant. You know, it's, it's always been a dream of mine to play in Mass Square Garden. I mean, Coach Mack has said this a couple times after games. It's just like maybe the energy of the effort hasn't been there in terms of just getting loose balls or diving on the floor. Is that a surprise at all to you? Just I mean, because you had you guys have been pretty good at that right. for, during the year, but these last couple of weeks maybe not to your standards. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's definitely tough for us. You know, at the beginning we were winning and everything was good, so we need to figure out how we can you know get that energy when things aren't going good for us. You know. You know, with losing so many games, winning and then losing, it's definitely hard to get our effort every game. But I think guys are really locked in this week. And, you know, we really know we have a chance to win this tournament. So I think guys will be locked in. You'll see us flying around all the tournament. It's great. I'm always shooting for first. But, you know, I'm in great company, so it's fine. It's, I'm happy with it. I'm glad whoever came to the decision, they came to it. And it's an honor to be there. Yeah, just talk about coming in and doing that your freshman year. Were you surprised that you were able to do that or what? Uh, looking back at it, I, I think I did kind of good, so I think I kind of deserved it. But uh, like I said, it's a great honor, and it's, it's I'm feel great, to, blessed to be in this position to be where I am at now. And the second team, I'll take it. Do you um, ever think about playing in the Garden? Marcus said that that's always been a dream of his. Has it been a dream of yours to play basketball at Madison Square Garden, or is that not no big deal? Uh, it's really not a big deal. It's a great venue, though. But so like you, you play in that on you play 2K and stuff, and me as a kid at heart, you know, it's just. Fun! I get to play somewhere where I play video games at. So, it's I'm, it's, I'm looking forward to it, and I hopefully one day I'll be in that video game. <laughs> so you know, I'm just, I'm excited to be on that court, and it's, it's like a lot of meccas like that you just want to be in. So, it's an honor to play there, and it's for anybody I think. So it's just it's gonna be fun. And uh, playing Providence, a team that kind of stole one a few weeks back. How, how good would it be to get them there? Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna happen. Uh, we got a lot of animosity built up towards them since that last game, uh, and we got a lot of guys that want to get some payback. So it'll be fun to watch how the game plays out and how much intensity we're going to bring. Justin, that is not going to be a, an easy game. A lot of people from Providence will be at that game yeah. on Thursday night. It's going to be like a home game for them. So what do you think the atmosphere will be like? Uh, well, we, we travel well, too, so I'm not afraid about the crowd atmosphere. Um, we got a lot of fans out there. and. I can always hear my mom out in the crowd, and I can always hear those fans out there. So I think we'll, we'll be fine with the crowd aspect part how, of it. How important is it to get uh, a win, some wins here heading into Selection Sunday, get some momentum into that? Um, it's it's going to be really important. We always want to get the ball rolling and get some uh, momentum going into the tournament. So if we can uh, manage to get this out of the way, it'll be fun for us, and we can get the going there with, with good spirits. Justin, uh, this tournament, uh, Kind of lends itself. People want to come out and see individuals as well as the team, but the locals at least they really do. Have you grown accustomed to being the guy that some people come to watch? And how, do you feel comfortable in that setting? Um, I feel comfortable in the sense that like I'm just there to play basketball and have fun with my teammates. Like 
I'm, I'm excited to get out there with Kyrie and just explore New York again. Uh, we Last time we were out there, we had a lot of fun. So it'll be fun, not the basketball aspect, just going out there, traveling, and just ex experiencing New York. A lot's been made since Mo went down. Everybody was talking about this team's mentality, identity going mm -hmm. forward. Postseason's finally here. When you look back in the last like month and a half, how do you think this team has come along? Um, we've done a good job of discovering ourselves and what type of team we are, and I feel like we got a new identity. I don't really know exactly what it is, but obviously we had some people put put in different positions and play different roles. So I think our team is taking a, a big transformation, and it's it's been good. We've had a couple of losses, but that's what happens. It's growing pains, I, I believe. I've asked this actually this a couple times this year, but how you the grind of the season? It's not easy for anybody. How are you holding up uh, uh, now? We're at the stretch around. Uh, I feel good. I, I I could say I hit it like a little uh, wall, not a wall, but like a little slump there. And uh, I was I was tired. I wasn't really t doing a good job of like getting in, uh, getting there with Ben and stuff. But I've t I've taken advantage of our system and our, our great facilities, and I feel great right now, better than I have the whole season. Does it help that it's March? Yeah, yeah, March. <laughs> I'm listening to a lot of music right now. I got a lot, <laughs> a lot of people in my head about uh, how this is where t people come alive and how players players turn into players. So it's gonna be fun to see how this carries out and how a player is gonna be made out of me. <laughs>